This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by Referral Engine Pro, the online portal that offers practical techniques for harnessing the power of referrals to ensure a steady flow of customers. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. <laughs> know that getting cleaning referrals is one of the best ways to gain new clients, but most business owners I talk to admit that the referrals they get are sporadic at best and they'd like to find a way to increase those referrals. When I ask if they reward the people that refer new business to them, their answers run the gamut from sending a thank you card to sending a gift certificate to giving a free cleaning to giving hundreds of dollars in cash. So how do you know what kind of referral reward is the most effective? Well, part of your decision on giving referral rewards is the size and quality of the referral received. Now, if you're a residential cleaning business that received a referral for a new home to clean, you might treat your referral reward a little differently than a commercial cleaning company that received a referral for an account that grosses several thousand dollars of income each month. And when I speak to the quality of the referral, I'm talking about whether or not the referral is a good fit for your company. You must educate your clients and networking buddies on what exactly is a good referral for you. I once got a referral for a hair salon, which is not a referral I wanted to receive. We had decided a long time ago to never do another hair salon, so it was really my fault our client gave a bad referral. I didn't let her know the type of client we were looking for. So assuming you're getting good referrals, I would recommend at a minimum a policy of sending a personalized greeting card along with the gift card to thank them for the referral, regardless of whether or not you picked up a new client. If a person goes out of their way to refer someone to your cleaning company, then you should go out of your way to say thanks. You'll be surprised at how this small gesture will build a stronger bond with your advocates. And when it comes to gift cards, many people like to give a Starbucks gift card since it's a gift most people enjoy. But I'd like to suggest that you give a little more than a five or a $10 card that will buy just one or two fancy coffee drinks. Instead, give a card with at least a $25 value so they can use it several times. Each time they use the card, they'll be reminded of who gave it to them. This happened to me one time when I gave a referral. When my card ran out, I thought to myself, darn, now I have to start paying for my coffee again. This alone can be incentive enough for them to give you ongoing referrals. Now, when it comes to larger referral rewards, try to personalize the gift as much as possible. In fact, this is where building deeper relationships can come into play. If you have a client that you know loves golf, maybe buy them a few rounds of golf. That's going to mean so much more to this client than a gift certificate to dinner. Or if you know a client is a wine lover and loves to try out new wines, buy a visit to a winery for a tour and a wine tasting. If you really want more frequent client referrals, start putting some thought into just what type of reward will delight them so much they'll want to give you more referrals. Okay, so it's your turn. Please share what kind of referral rewards have worked well for your business. You can post your comments below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. That's it for today's show. Be sure to check out Referral Engine Pro, the online portal that offers practical techniques for harnessing the power of referrals to ensure a steady flow of new customers. I'm Jean Hansen, and I'd love to connect with you on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.